All righty, hold on a minute. All right, can you all see this? Um, okay, Rachel Allen, no, here we go. There's Kara, I can see everybody. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So um, we're gonna do something a little bit different that we've not done before. We have recognition for October. We're gonna talk a little bit about um, what we saw last month and then what is to come for this month. And then we have our incredible guest speaker, Sarah. So um, October recognition, high five to our people who ranked up this last month. October was a hard month. If you guys saw that in your points, please know that you are not alone. So it was a hard month. And the fact that we have multiple people that ranked up to gold is a huge, huge celebration. So Haley Brandner is my level one. She ranked up to gold. She's amazing. Danielle Schmitz and CJ Swartz. Good job, you all, for ranking up to gold. That's a huge, huge deal. Enjoy your big bonus. Next in October, our silvers, we had Athena. I'm probably going to say these names wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst at names. Athena, Pina, Emily Sedevic, and Peg Johnson. So great job to all of you guys. Also, great job to your sponsors who helped show you how to get started with a business. Really, really proud of you. You ought to be very proud of yourself. And fun note, only 10% of Plexus ambassadors make it to silver. So you have something to be very, very proud of. Next, take a look at all of these Nike earners. You guys, that is so fun. And there are multiple people in here that earn the Nikes twice. So all of these people on our team are going to be receiving custom made Nikes, or if they want, they can go to a Nike factory, which is what I'm planning to do. And I'm gonna hit up all the, the clearance items and hopefully get multiple pairs of shoes for my family. So huge congratulations, you all. Next, let's go over the top enrollers. Brianna Johnson coming in hot always. Um, she added seven, then Danielle had six. Lacey Wilcox, who's been here for two plus years, she's still bringing in so many people with this business. So go and follow what she's doing because obviously what she's doing is working. Um, CJ had four, Dana had four, Elaine had four, and Tori had four, and then we had tons of other people as well, but these are our top enrollers for October, so great job, you all. And then I will mute myself so Kara can go. Okay, we're going to talk about the calendar real quick, just kind of go over that. Um, so today is the 7th, um, we have our team call with Sarah, I'm so excited for y'all to hear from her. Um, last week, we had our gratitude training series. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And if you didn't get a chance to um, read through that, go ahead and search the hashtag. I think it's gratitude week. And then you can kind of look through those posts. I know that my team did an awesome job preparing those and just getting your heart and your mind right um, for just this season and starting the month off strong with gratitude. Um, and then we have events every single week this month. Um, so I'm going to talk more about the one on Thursday in a little bit, but I'll go ahead and get down to the rest of the calendar. The 17th, this one's going to be a little bit different. It is a messenger event, but instead of having all of us in one massive messenger event, that would overwhelm lots of potentials. So what we're going to do is Carly Owens and Kayla Martin, they are putting this event together for you and they're going to put it in a board. And if you don't know what a board is, we're going to learn it this month, um, but they're going to put it in a board and you will grab a team, a sideline sister, and you will do that event yourself. You will run that event, but it will be all put together for you. So, um, that is going to be available to you next week. Um, on that Monday, um, Carly and Kayla are going to be putting together a tips for inviting and how to do that. And so um, that is going to challenge us, but also I think that's going to be really good for us. And then um, the very last week of the month, the 25th and 26th, the week of Thanksgiving, um, we are going to have a big Facebook group event 
that we can plug people into. We usually do about one of these every year and where we, we're just going to have lots of lives, lots of stories. We're just going to really build belief in our products and build belief in our business that we can plug people into, share our Black Friday um, sales that are going on. And yes, so that's what we're going to be doing for the month. We have our accountability group and book study every Monday for the rest of the month. And um, I think that's all. Yeah, we'll go on to the next um, thing. Okay, so this event on Thursday, we have five of us that are going to be sharing what we are thankful for around the business. So you can kind of see here in this graphic, Kanya is going to be talking about community. Kinsey's going to be talking about traveling and fun with that. Sarah Jo is going to be talking about personal growth and how um, this business has been so good for her. And then Vicki Kay, who is a nurse, she's going to talk about how she's found so much, um, like just so much joy in being able to help people in a different way. And then I'm going to talk about just the business and the income that comes from being able to share. We're going to start that at 8 p.m. on on Thursday. And then right after that, following that, Emily is going to just kind of, we're going to just piggyback on because we have so many people that are interested in the business. And so we're going to build belief in them in the first 30 minutes. And then that second 30 minutes, um, Emily is just going to just lay it all out there, do some, um, just kind of share how to start a strong business and go from there. And so they are feeling really inspired. And then they're going to get into action right after that with Emily's um, how to. So we're really excited about that. And then and if I could speak to that too, yes, somebody had asked, who is this for? This is for anybody. Like if it can be for your customers, it can be for your people on your team that have maybe gone silver, or maybe they've added a few people, or maybe they were really involved and then they kind of fizzled out. Or it can be for the people that you have sent a bold business message to and they're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Like I'd be willing to hear a little bit more. And my vision, my hope in this is that we will really as a team take advantage of this event, not necessarily my part, but like take advantage of the Thursday thankful um, call and really invite our people. Because I love the way that CARE has um, facilitated it with so many different like portions of our business that are so amazing um, and areas that people need. And so my hope is that these people will come on and they will have this value in the business built. They'll have this belief and this excitement. And then my hope is that some of those people, even without you guys knowing, be like, you know what? Yeah, I do want to stay on. Like, I do want to hear more about it. So it doesn't have to be a customer, a current customer. It can be a potential that's curious to know more. Yeah, super excited about that. Um, okay, so for our corporate November specials, I'm just going to run through this. Um, we do have our holiday packs that are on sale. Those are limited time right now. I think it's free ground shipping with $175 purchase. We still have the Just Add Reset, which is has been the case for the last few months. And that is $20 off of Reset if, it's, um, if you already have $50 worth in your subscription. And then the product of the season is our collagen. Um, so if you have that in your sub, you're going to get an extra 50 um, perks this month. And then we have the grow more to give more, um, which if you sign three people, you're going to earn an extra $100. This is on top of your business building bonus. This is on top of your silver bonus if you go silver. Um, and then if you sign up six, you will get $400. And if you sign up nine, um, you can get $800. You can also get the larger prizes by developing a level one to silver. And so that's um, put out for you in the, the graphic. And if you have questions about that, just send a note to your um, sponsor and we can help clarify that for you. And then... Oh yeah, so I want you to think about this. Which picture of yours will go in these graphics? Will you be on our call, our team call next month in December, um, highlighting you for earning this cash? And because we're gonna be doing this every every month now and we're really excited about that, having that 
recognition part of our team calls. So visualize. Don't just look at this and think, oh, this is for somebody else. This is this is not for me. I haven't earned the Nikes. I didn't earn the Apple Watch. This is for somebody else. That is bull honky. You can earn this and you can change things for your family. Think about what, I mean, the, and here's the thing too, that $800 for adding nine, that actually with the pay points and uh, welcome back bonuses, that actually equals out to a little over $1,000, I believe. Think about what $1,000 extra could mean for your family, for people in your community with Christmas. Such a huge gift. So visualize yourself in these little graphics for next month. Okay, and then now I wanna introduce, uh, we don't have anything else, right, Emily? On our Okay, I wanna introduce our guest speaker tonight. Her name is Sarah, and Sarah and I connected, gosh, it's been years now, um, over Instagram. We met over Instagram, um, we were both sharing our little pink drinks, and so we just connected that way. And she's been so much fun to watch. She's so bold and her belief in her products is incredible. And I'm really excited for all of you to hear her story. We, um, I ran into her in March at Leaders Retreat. And she said, she told me, she said, I'm going Emerald this month. And I was like, yes, let's go, let's go. And then one, the thing that she told me afterwards, she was like, but I don't really have a lot of runners that are like all in. And I'm like, girlfriend, how are you, how are you going Emerald with a lot of, with not a lot of runners? So I'm really excited. She's going to share her story, her journey to Emerald and how she got there and just kind of share more of her heart. Um, as questions come up, go ahead and write them in the chat. She will take some time to answer some questions for us. So if you want to just pick her brain, um, she is, she said she's an open book. So Sarah, I'll have you Thank you, Kara. Uh, it's so funny hearing you say that about our conversation in March because my take on that conversation is like totally different than yours. Because <laughs> I was not as confident as you made me sound. Okay, so hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Emily and Kara, for having me on tonight. It was an honor whenever Kara asked me. I was like, oh, man, I've never been asked to speak on somebody else's team before. So my name is Sarah Middleton, and I'm an Emerald Ambassador with Flexus, and I am a wife, um, a girl mom, same as Kara, living that girl mom life, um, a lover of all things gut health. I coach high school softball on the side, and once upon a time, I was a recreational therapist I worked in hippotherapy, which is equine therapy on horseback. So while a kid is getting like their speech therapy lesson done, I am driving the horse or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So that was my past life. This is what I do now. Um, so like Kara said, um, none of, you know, like never, never planned on, on doing this ever. Uh, but to give you guys a background of my health story, um, and then I'll talk a little bit about my business story. Um, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 2010 when I was just shy of turning 18 and it wrecked my world. Um, I lived in misery for about five years, taking pill after pill, shot after shot. I knew, I knew, keyword, I knew that nothing else could help me. And my bathroom looked like the back off, like the back half of like the Walgreens pharmacy where they fill all the prescriptions and stuff. I had prescriptions and needles and sharps containers and alcohol swabs and all of the things. And as a young 20 something year old, my day-to-day -day life was a mess. I couldn't take my socks off. I had to train my Corgi how to do it. I wore, I wore boot socks every day to work and my husband would be deployed. I'd come home. I had no kids at the time. So what did I do? I taught my dog how to take my socks off for me because I couldn't do it. So just imagine for a minute coming home from work and having to teach your dog how to take off your socks because you physically cannot do it. Uh, turning doorknobs, putting my seatbelt on, things like that. It was really bad. And I had told myself my entire journey, and I had been told by my doctors that the medications that I was taking was all I could do, and that's all that would ever work for me. And I believed that to my core. And when I look back on it, none of it was actually working for me. I was still living the poorest quality of life that you could imagine. And I thought that I had tried it all, every medication, every therapy, every oil, every voodoo magic, nightshade diet, whatever you want to call it. I had tried it, but the only thing that I had never looked into was gut health. And of course, once I dove into gut health and got Plexus products in my hands, after I had told my friend that they weren't going to work for me, I slowly weaned myself off of one medication and then two, and then I was off my Ambien. 
And then I was off my steroids and my methotrexate and all these things, which were really like harsh treatments, like mild forms of chemotherapy. And when you take medications like that, you never can have kids ever. And you're told that from the get-go. Don't ever plan on being a mother. Don't ever plan on having kids. And here I was slowly kicking all these meds to the curb and my inflammation was dropping. My blood work was showing proof, not just my symptoms. So my life did a complete 180. And back then I was told, like I said, you'll never be a mother. You'll likely never have kids. Don't get your hopes up. Uh, but I sit before you tonight, seven years later, as a mother to two beautiful young girls, their names are Cora and Emily. They're five and three years old and they're our plexus babies. That's what we refer to them as because without these products and the hands of God and without this company, they wouldn't be here. And because of the incredible financial opportunity laid out by this company, I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom to those two rascals and, you know, be there for all of it. I don't have to coach for the money or work horses anymore and make my body miserable and tear my body down because of what I chose to do for a living. I do it because I can and because I want to. And I'm able to help take that financial burden off of my husband to help, you know, take care of the mortgage and the bills and all that stuff. And we're slowly chipping away at like a debt snowball, like you guys have all seen Kara do. And it's the most freeing thing ever. But as far as my business goes, I worked here and there for years, never really took it seriously, you know, worked it like a hobby. So it paid me like a hobby. You guys have all heard that. But then my husband was transitioning out of the Marine Corps after 10 years of being in. And if you've ever known somebody who makes that transition, it isn't easy. It's really hard. And he took a $22,000 pay cut. And I knew that that was going to hurt us bad. So a year out from his end of service date, I put my head down and I went to work and I worked and I worked and I worked and I went from 254 pay points in the month of April of 2020, that year that we all saw crazy momentum. And I went from 254 points in April to ending in July was 754. I sat between 750 and 1500 points for just under two years. But when I saw Kara at Leaders Retreat in Florida in March, she, I, we saw each other in the hallway and, and we got to talking about where I was and what, when I was going to run for Emerald. And I, my, I, I, what I remember saying to Carol was I want to run to Emerald, but I don't think it's going to happen because I have no one working with me. And that's when she said like, well, how are you going to get there? If you don't have anybody working with you and you all know, sweet Kara. And I believe that she left me with a hug and said, you got this, you know, and that was it. That was the end of it. But let me just tell you that like my uplines, Janelle S. Bling and Melissa Eichenhorst, they've told me like, you cannot get to Emerald on your own. I could recruit people left and right. But what wasn't happening is that I wasn't growing because I had no one working the business with me. And all I had was a bunch of happy product users. How many of you guys have that? You have all happy product users and nobody working the business, right? So if you aren't sharing the business with anybody and everybody that you talk to, you will not find business builders. And that's a simple, that's a simple concept, right? So when I got home from leaders retreat, I put my head down and every single person that I had signed that year from December of 2021 to March of 2022, got a message from me asking them, would you be open to hearing about the business opportunity with Plexus? Or would you be open to hearing how I can get you your products paid for? And guess what happened? I started having business builders. They started popping up like that. And we ended February before I went to leaders retreat at 1,033 points. And we ended March. I got home from leaders retreat. I think I'm like March, like 22nd or something. It was like crazy late in the month. And I ended March with five golds, several senior silvers, several silvers. And we had ended with 1,701 points points, one points. I don't know how to say that. So like I said, we had developed a bunch of golds. Who has been to gold school? Anybody on this call been to gold school yet? Nobody. I can't see everybody's hands, but the people I see, nobody. Yes. People have Kylie has, Melissa has. Okay, cool. So yeah. if you have not been to gold school, get yourself to gold school, it, whether that's you going gold or you developing a gold, get yourself there. Okay. So during this time at which I grew, like Kara said in the chat by 700 points, I had been assigned by the one and only Jen Viev to listen to the book Soundtracks seven times through. It's a book called Soundtracks by John Acuff. Have you guys read this book yet with your team and all? Okay. So I strongly suggest it because you can guess what it's like. It's all about what you tell yourself in your head. Because when I met Kara 
in the hallway in March, I had told her, I want to do it, but it's not going to happen because I don't have business builders. And what my soundtrack should have been is I want to do it and I'm going to create business builders. Okay. So see how I like switch the mindset and switch the soundtrack. Um, but when I saw her, my soundtrack still had not changed yet. So I was playing the victim, walking around leaders retreat, looking at all these fellow leaders who are there because they are in the trip and had this mindset of must be nice that they're jewels. Must be nice that they made it this far. Must be nice that they are in this. And I think that in my head. But what happened when I left Leaders Retreat was that I realized that they were doing something that I wasn't. Okay. And you all know what that was. And that was talking about the business. Okay. So what can you do from now moving forward? You can partner up with your sideline or whoever, or ask Carrie to meet with you or Emily and say, hey, can I practice presenting the business to you and, and critique me? If you're looking for... um compliments and not criticism, you're in the wrong place, okay? So you need to look for criticism so that you can better yourself moving forward. You're not gonna master it doing it once or twice. It needs to be over and over and over and over again and commit, commit to it, presenting the business to each other. And each person that comes in to your back office as a VIP, that two-step conversation is, how can I get you your products paid for? Are you open to hearing about it? and and just seeing what they say okay because it's not up to you to decide for them if the business is for them or not by not presenting it to them you're not doing them or their bank accounts a favor you're doing them a disservice by not sharing it with them um so when i had come back from leaders retreat i had decided that i had to change what i was doing but really i needed to be resilient and to allow myself to begin again and again and again for the things that didn't go the way that I expected them to the first time, which is another bit out of soundtracks. You guys got to read that book or listen to it. Um, so don't leave tonight, like inspired. I hope that I inspired you some. Um, don't leave tonight, like really inspired and like, wow, that was really great what Sarah shared. Leave this call, like ready to like pull back and slingshot into the week and into the rest of the month and win every single day. Don't just leave this call tonight. Like, man, that girl's story was so inspiring. Her health testimony was great. I loved everything that she said. Take it and decide and actually do something with it. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. I would, did not get a chance to see any of the questions in the comment. If there were any, I don't know. Um, I think several people wanted to know what your, what your product regimen looked like what, to get off all your meds. Was that just triplex or if you could um, share that with yeah. us? That'd well, awesome. back then all we had was triplex. It was called Fast Relief at the time. <laughs> Triplex, Ease, uh, Mega X, and X Factor Plus. But what I started with for the first couple of months was Triplex. And then I slowly added in more as my paycheck grew from sharing a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's what I take like consistently every single day is Triplex, Ease, Mega X, and X Factor Plus. Awesome. Abby asked, uh, what are the key points you present when you talk about the business to your people? So I like to do a little bit of um, vision casting with them. Um, a lot of these people have never been asked the question before of what would your life look like if time and money were no object? And you really can watch the people's like brains like start to like spin and their and their thoughts are spinning in their head. Because a lot of these people are moms and mother, you know, mothers and wives and caretakers and, and homemakers and all the things. And they kind of don't really get that chance to dream and dream big. So my favorite thing to do is to ask them that is what would your life look like if time and money were no object? And then they tell me and I sit and I listen and they see me take the notes and they see me write it down. And then they know like, man, this girl's really invested in, in what I want to do and, and what I want to, you know, have come of this. And so Basically, my big main points for them is showing them that it's doable, showing them how they can achieve that. And really just if they if they want to go over the compensation plan, like if they're like a numbers person and you know that going into it, that they're like a red or a green personality, then I definitely present the comp plan to them. But if they're like somebody who it's going to overwhelm really quickly, then just focus really on let's get you three people and get you this 800 or this, what would it be? $410 you know, in the month of November and get you your products and more paid for. Um, I hope that answered the question. So basically vision casting first is what I focus on. 
and really allowing them to dream. Do you Carly see that said, what do you do Carly? if you have yeah. offered all your happy customers this message and have no bites? How do you send that follow-up message without being pushy? Well, have they said no to you yet? Or Carly, please leave me alone and don't ever message me again. Have they ever said that to you? A lot of times, I mean, we're the only reason that we're good at responding to people on Facebook Messenger is because we do it for a living. We we do it because we want we that's where most of our business is, right? It's our job. So we're there all the time. Other people, they're like, they see stuff on Facebook and they're just like, whatever. You know, they don't pay attention to it. So unless somebody says to me, like, Sarah, please don't ever message me again about this, then I will be like, okay, sorry. Like I didn't, I didn't mean to step on your toes. Like I will cross you off my list. But until they give me like a hard no, I don't ever take them off that list. And I don't ever worry about being pushy because the way that you're coming off is not being pushy if you're doing it in the right way. Um, Asking people if they're open to something is not being pushy. I truly don't believe that. Um, You know, you're not like, like putting them on the, on the line and saying like, do this or else, you know, um, especially if it's, yeah, like Emily said, especially if it's for their benefit, like, like I said earlier, like if you're not sharing this with people, you are doing a disservice to them. You're not, you're not giving them the true, you know, the full, the full out. Uh, the second part of that was, I lost it in the comments. Oh, if you have offered all your happy customers this message and have no bites, um, then my next thing to them would be, say that it say that my my customer Emily has really really great results and loves her product she's been a happy product user for six months or more or even six weeks or more then I'm going to ask her hey Emily I know that you're not interested in working the business but would you be willing to post for me and tag me in the post and then whoever comes your way we can either sign them up under you and give you product credit or I'll happily take them on as my customers and I'll take really good care of them just like I take really good care of you and a lot of times people will, people are always willing to give you referrals. They're always willing to be that referral man, that, that, that person that's just pushing people that way. All right, Sarah, I have a question. So you get home from leaders and you're like, I'm going to message all of the people. Yes. And you had people that said, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. What was your next step? How did you get them to gold and senior silver? Was it Stop. events? Was it? What, how did you do that? So my next step was them with them was just, okay, can we meet this week on zoom? Yes. They obviously said yes. And then I did that vision casting thing where I told them and I like to do, I don't know if you guys saw my motivation Monday call a few weeks ago, but because of compliance, I couldn't call it this, but I call it mapping the money. Matthew would not let me call it. He said, you can't say that. (laughs) Okay. So what I like to do is called, I map the money for them. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is a general, like of the general population. If you tell somebody, if you do this, you will earn blank amount of dollars. They're going to do whatever that first part is, right? Whether that's add three people, whether that's add 20 people. And especially if I tell them those 20 people don't have to all come from you. They can come from you. They can come from Aunt Sally. They can come from your husband and your cousin. As long as there's 20 people, you know, on average, like that's going to get you to gold. So what I did was I sat them down and I mapped out that money for them. And I showed them exactly what that looked like for them. If you do this, this is how much you're going to make. And then by, and then what we did to get them there was posting. I held posting challenges because they were all new, right? They were all like, we've never posted before. We don't know anything about posting. So I ran posting challenges. I gave them challenges every day to talk about a certain product in their stories every single day of the week. Mondays was ProBio 5, Tuesdays was Slim, Wednesdays was Active. Every single day was a different product highlight in their stories. And then pretty much that's it. And then I was just in oodles and oodles and oodles of three ways. Too many three ways. I don't, I, I don't want to say I never want to do that again, but I don't ever want to do that again. It was very stressful. But if you're also not utilizing three-way messengers, messages for your people who are trying to grow, then I feel like you're not really teaching your people how to be duplicatable because what they saw was me over and over and over again, use the same verbiage over and over and over again. Exactly. And that's where boards is so helpful. And I wish that I would have had boards back in March, but it was like not a thing yet. I don't think it was, but we didn't know about it, I guess. Um, But by doing the three-way messages, your people can see how you use the same verbiage over and over again. And 
they can take notes on what you recommend for certain, you know, ailments or certain things that people need product wise. Then they don't have to ask you over and over again. Hey, what do you recommend for high blood pressure? Hey, what do you recommend for Hashimoto's? You know, then they, they just learn and they know, and they'll just be a little sponge and soak it up. And then the next thing, you know, you're out like hunting Easter eggs with your kid in April and your phone's going off saying you got a new level two or three. And you're like, I wasn't in any three-way messages. Well, it's because, oh, I saved all the verbiage that you used last month. And then they just pick it up. And then they, and it's, and because it's duplicatable, then your people can start doing it too. So good. That's so good, Sarah. Thank you for sharing. Does anyone else have any other questions for Sarah? Anybody? Thank you guys so much for having me on. I was really, really excited for it. Thank you for sharing. And um, thank you for sharing your story. And also, and <laughs> somebody needs to teach Gina about boards. We will we will go over boards, everyone. <laughs> we need to do that. Um, so thank you, Sarah, for hopping on. We are going to transition into our book study call. So you, you are free to leave whenever you want. Or okay. if you want to hang out, we're reading the slide edge right now. So it's it's okay, make sure you do soundtracks next. Okay, sounds everybody, right. Everybody unmute yourself and say thank you to Sarah. Like that was beautiful. <laughs> Especially this was your first time. Like that was beautiful in your story. I mean, all of us were teary-eyed. Yeah. What a gift. Thank, thank you. you for thank being here. Thank, thank, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of helpful tips. <laughs> um, Kara, thank you for getting her on the call. That was absolutely beautiful now if you guys are going to go and share her story which i hope you do be really careful with those red light not red light stories what are they called red light red, or, flag. red flag not red, red light that's not what we're doing here <laughs> that's inappropriate i think um red flag words uh just be really careful with that like you don't want to say rheumatoid arthritis you just want to be really careful with those things so you can use different words like kara you're really good at this what would you say like excruciating pain I mean I would assume she could say like she wasn't able to put on her socks or take her socks off like I think she can you can talk like that right yes yeah I, that's what I would say talk more about symptoms and things that she couldn't do and then that she can do yeah. yes what Tylee just said paint the picture of her life okay. um, and then always disclaimer you can put the disclaimer there and then um, obviously in a private message to someone, you can actually, you can say those things privately um, and just let them know that, that it is not compliant, but you care about the person that you're talking to. So, Kanye, you've got to stop with TLC comments, okay? Um, all right, if you guys are not muted, go ahead and mute yourself just to so have that feedback. But we're gonna transition. You wanna this is do it. Quit recording. Sorry. Oh, yes. Good thinking. Okay, hold, please. I was trying to think if I wanted to record this, but 